Hello guys, uh, I'm making a video here on uh, this Mazak matrix control, which you can see here. What I'm going to tell you here is uh, going to give you step by step on doing a couple of things on this machine. So guys, the first thing I'm going to do when I start to turn on my machine is uh, that I'm going to send my all my axes home. And uh, right now you can see the machine position. Like none of them is red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press home button. And now I'm going to go click minus and then plus. Look at that. My axe is going home now. And now I'm going to do the same thing with my Y. Minus and then plus. The Y is gone home. Same thing with my Z. And when we do that, we got to stop when, uh, although the machine goes automatically. So you can see all my X, Y, and Z is uh, all red. That means it's home, but still I have A axis which is not home yet. So what I do is, A axis is also called uh, fourth axis. So I can go either minus or plus until it, it is home. I try always going plus. And now all my axes are red, which means it's all home. And uh, from here on, I can run my warm up program, which I got a call from uh, so memory work number. So I enter my program number, which I call warm up. And then I enter, so here it should show you warm-up program, work number is the program number which is active. So right now I'm gonna go in memory and start. So I'm gonna start at 25% rapid. I let it run for 5-10 minutes. Although Mazak claims that you don't need to warm up their machines, but uh, I still do, it's a good practice. Now, once you have a uh, machine warmed up, what I do is mostly I take a clean rag or uh, any clean paper, I try to clean my uh, spindle like that. And now, what I do is I call my default tool, which is uh, tool number 20 in my case but you can assign it any tool so I'm gonna call a tool so you go in MBI tool change now in my case is 20 input and now press start it's gonna call Tool number 20. Right now, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off my uh, edge binder and I'm going to put my Mirror Toyo, uh, what do you call the universal dial. So, the one which I have is uh, uh, 1 tenth increment. So, this uh, 3 to 4, like 1 increment is 1 tau. So, it can be very accurate. I like this personally. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my X0, Y0 on the chuck, on this piece here, and uh, um, once that is done, I'm going to show you the next step. So once that is done, uh, we're going to be putting our uh, values of X0 and Y0 in G54, and for that, we have to go in work offset. In order to do so, we have to press the menu button, which is on uh, this left hand side, until we see the work offset, and then we press that, and we see it between in uh, G54. Uh, we're going to enter that value, so we move our cursor down until we see that is highlighted at X. And now, when once X is highlighted, we're going to press the button Teach, and then Input. After Teach is highlighted, we see that uh, it's uh, blue, and now we input, and uh, we have a new value there. Before it was zero, now we have this value. We're going to do the same for our Y, it's highlighted already, 
we're going to teach input and we got a new value for that as well and then we go back to our uh, position page uh, it's pretty right um, I'm sorry for the quality of the video actually so when we reset this button what I'm trying to show here is that there you go we have zero zero which means that our value has been entered so all right guys uh, that's what it is uh, if you have any question and uh, or comments uh, you can leave it below thank you